double pitch screw with the older, older generation. Uh, because we have uh, installing the run one and uh, this double pitch uh, screw will provide double power so the z axis lifting power will be increased increased double so okay we need a two screw two screwdriver one is 2.5 uh, millimeter hex wrench one is a three millimeter hex wrench so let's start yeah, first we need to lose use a three millimeter screw wrench to take off the reinforce screws on the back of the printer because we are going to take off this cover the full cover so that we we get access to the z-axis we put it aside and open the chamber now we will use the 2.5 millimeter hex wrench to screw the six locking screw inside. Uh, so you will need to turn it on clockwise this turn. Because uh, clockwise is uh, tight, so un anti clockwise will lose the bolts. There are six bolts. Second one. Third one. Okay, this side. Yeah, on the opposite side there are three three more. A, the this process will take you uh, roughly about 30 minutes. So please be patient. Okay, the first one. The fifth one. Okay, the last one. All right. So six bolts are off. Now we there's one cable to the uh, to the. This is a fan. There's a fan. This is a. Uh, air purifier fan so the cable is inside you can see this uh, black cable here so take this cable pull it up so you will see one of connector from the uh, the base to the frame so you just push this button push the button and then pull the connector so you can detach the two yeah okay after you detaching the two connector we can move this up the handle it was here so you want to scratch it there's one hole so you you can get this off and then we put this aside all right so now we will take a, a take this top cover off so that we can get the screw off Okay, we need to use uh, 2.5 hex wrench. On the top, there are four, uh, four locking screw. One, two, three, four. So four of these screw, you can take them off. Now, the top cover, it's, uh, it's moving. You, you need to pull it up so it can get off the screw. Could be a little bit tight because uh, there's a little tolerance on this. All right, so we're taking this plate off. Now we need to 
unscrew these four of the uh, locking bolts. Maybe the first one here. The coupler, only coupler. There are two screw. We are, we are going to lose the top one. This one, we lose it. So this screw can off, get off the coupler. So you need to push and turn it anti-clockwise. So the screw will be loose, okay? After you losing, you see, if we move, it can move up and down. Now we need to lose the top four screw. One, okay, second one. Be careful, it will be maybe falling down after we push this off. So you need to use one hand to hold, to hold it. Three, the last one, okay. So you hold the platform or it will falling down directly on the screen. It could break your uh, Z-stop sensor. Okay, the last one off. Then we push this uh, hole screw off so now check oh never put it off because uh, the bore inside are, are very accurate if we pull it off uh, we a, the bore could be falling out so you can never reinstall it so you hold it and then you put the new screw on it we have already assembled this uh, screw with this nuts this is an uh, anti-backlash lutz. So you put this inside. And you pull this up. So you will see, you match the hole. The hole match the screw hole. So you then, you can, you can lock one. Because, you, yeah, you can lock one screw uh, do not lock it very tight. Just uh, simply a little bit would be fine. And then the second one. Okay, the third one. Don't need to be very tight. The fourth one. Okay, you see, you still can move in. Here we need to tight the coupler one. We invert this screw inside and tight it. You push tight, tight, tight three times. So then you move the excess. It will not move anymore. So it means it's very tight. Now you can turn this up and down and uh, there's no issue, then you lock, you lock the top four bolts. All right, you push it down and you tighten the first one. Then on the upside, here, this one, opposite side. Okay, the second one, the third one. This one is just like you locking your wheel, uh, your tire. Your wheel, your car wheel, you need it to opposite uh, screws, so it will be super tight. All right, and then you check if uh, four screws are okay. All right, so this one is already installed. Now we need to install the top cover. This will be both sides. So we put this on. It's a very precise one, so it's easy to push, to put it on. And the four of the locking bolts need to be exactly match the hole. Just like I installed the first one, you need to install a not too tight in the beginning. So first one, second one, not too tight. Make sure it's a little bit loose, you still can shake it. The third one, the fourth one. After you lock the four bolts, you need to adjust this a little bit. Make sure the, the side is match 
The age is very clear here. You can see the age. So you match it. If you with uh, some angle, it could be not so accurate. So make sure it's exactly in the position, which are exactly matched to the frame. Every side is to the frame. Okay, so you push the plate and the tight. First one, second one, the third one, then the fourth one. All right, exactly. So it will not, it cannot move anymore. All right, now we will reinstall the back, the frame. Ah, so you still remember there's a hole so that we can pull the connector go through. You push through the connector so that you can get the cable inside. Then reinstall this up. All right, then you will match the hole. There are six holes. You want to miss them. You can install the first one. It will take some, take some skill, but I'm sure you can do that. You can use one hand to hold the bolt, the other hand to tighten the, tight the bolt. Remember, the first bow will not too tight, so you can move the frame a little bit because you need to rematch the, the wrist bolts. Okay, the second one. Match, it don't have to be too tight. Okay, the third one. Okay, the fourth one. The fifth one. Okay, I think the last boat. Here's the last boat for the frame. Okay, so six boats are already locked, so you can tighten them one by one. Ah, if there's any of the screw, do not match the thread. You need to, to lose it and then re retight it. This way you will not break the thread. Okay. Right, on the other side, screw them up. On the back of it, don't forget, there are two of reinforced bolt. So the frame can reinforce the Z-axis during printing this a very strong power to move, to bend the, try to bend the Z-axis. If we have these two bolts locking it, it will be very strong. Three millimeter hex wrench. So then the Z-axis will attach to the frame. Uh, to reinforce, make it uh, even stronger, much stronger than before. This way, well, uh, we can ensure more accurate printing. Three millimeter, okay. Down. Okay, the last thing we need to put, put the connector back. So you see there's a notch. Put the notch, match the notch and invert it. 
and、uh, hide the cable inside. All right, congratulations! You have finished the Z-axis screw replacing. Thank you for your watching.